Girl, let me tell y'all what's going on. You guys know Tokyo Vanity, right? She is speaking out and home girl is mad at the black men, okay? And guess what, you guys? We have a host today. Check my girl out, Crystal Logics. How you doing, baby? Hey. Hey. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. It is so great to have you here. Go and check Crystal Logic page out, cause sister be dropping some knowledge. She want all you sisters out there to be aware and put your flight first, okay? So let's go back up here, all right? Hold on, wait, here we go. All right, so I'm going to read Talk Your Vanity. Now, y'all know how I get. Please like, share, subscribe to this YouTube channel. Gossip Girl, XOXO. All right, check it out. Black women love black men so much through the highs and the lows. Why y'all don't love us back, huh? It's like, as a black woman, if you don't have the physical features, the skin tone, the eye color, the hair, or another race mixed within you, your blackness, black men hold you to a lower value. Mm-hmm. So it's all about these looks. All right? So before we go on, what's your thoughts about that, Crystal Logics? Um, I feel like Tokyo speaking nothing but facts. Everything she said is factual, is correct, but I just don't like how she's out here, basically, in my opinion, begging black men for mm. acceptance and to love mm. black women. Mm. Yes, I, what she's saying is calling out the obvious. Like, this is clear to see. Um, but like I said, I don't like this whole, you know, black man, why don't you love black women back? No, please black, love me. Please. Yes, why don't you open your options to all groups of men, to other races of men, right? And see if you could get love from other places. We don't got to be mm -hmm. beg black men for love. Please love me. I do everything for you. I cook for you. I open my legs. Girl, do you know I even went down on him all the time? You know, I was against mm. that. That was against my religion. I lowered my value. You. I love, let me tell you, Krista, I lowered my values and morals. So, you know, I knew this nigga was cheating on me with my best friend. And okay. I held him down because he was a black man. Let me tell you something, Krista. Did you know he done blacked my eyes three times and I held girl. him down. And I didn't even call the cops, girl. Okay? Because in my neighborhood, we don't do that. I love him so much and they do me wrong. He done left me for a damn Latina girl. Okay? After, yeah, let me tell you something. This Negro, he ain't had no college or nothing. I put my money, my savings, and gave you it to him to invest it. Yes, I did. You know why? You know why, Crystal? Why? He's a black man that had a heart, and he's, he's a, a king. king. Yes, oh, he's a king. He was a king. Yes, and I have to invest. As a woman, I have to invest in my king. Okay? But my black king left my ass with three kids and I can't even get child support. And he over there rolling around in a Mercedes oh, with his so wife. Yeah, with he didn't so marry. Yes, he didn't marry me. You know, he always told me he would. And I believed him. Why he won't do right, girl? I'm just, oh God. I don't know what to do, Chris. It's I'm okay, going through Gigi. it. It's okay, Gigi. I'll, I don't know what to tell you, but it's okay, Gigi. We're going to fix it. We're going to okay. get through it somehow. Okay. Somehow. okay. I think I need to go back to church. It's something I ain't doing right. You know, my some, maybe my parents did wrong and God has cursed me. That's what it is. I think that's what it is. All right, so you guys ready to go on? <laughs> See, I love Crystal Energy because I just get to act a fool around her, okay? <laughs> All right, so let's go on and comment, you guys. We want to know what you guys think about this. Do you guys feel like Tokyo Vanny? She has a point. Comment, let us know. Do you like, um, you know, when I guess Crystal Light, you said she felt, you felt like she's begging? Um, yeah, I feel like it's coming off a little beggy, but I also feel like she is calling out facts and there are a group of black women that need to hear this because for some reason there's a large group of black women that, you know, think that black women are completely delusional when they say, you know, no, black men, they prefer and they uplift non-black women and, or light-skinned, racially ambiguous women. No, they're like, no, that's not true. That's not true. It's because you're ugly. It's because of the... Hold on. But... Mm. 
on. Now you are not gonna call no black sister ugly now. Come on. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's uh -uh. What when you call out, when you call out the BS, they say it's cause you're ugly and don't uh -uh. Ugly. or cause a black man done did you wrong, girl. That's, mm. That's what they say. Girl, can you I know? say something? If yes, we take girl. a if we take a look at all the people in their family. I bet mm. the girl that they call an ugly, we gonna find some identical twins in <laughs> their family. Exactly. Be having the same features, look like they could mm -hmm. be brother and sister. Mm -hmm. They wouldn't sit there and call somebody ugly. Okay. Mm. But yeah, so I feel like this message needs to be put out there, but not in the way that she's doing it. I feel like the I feel like I get what she was trying to do, but it just comes off a little bit beggy to me. Like, like right. she's begging black men to love us. Okay. And I don't like that. I don't like that. Okay. I don't like so that. she also say she said crazy thing is soon as a black woman disagrees not swept under the rug or speak her feelings she deem as problematic, as mm. naggy. Mm. If a woman of another race does it, it's like, I like my women feisty. Mm. What you think about that, girl? They say feisty, spicy, you know, she's got a little bit of an attitude, that's what I like, da 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 da, da. but as soon as a black woman does it, it's ratchet, it's ghetto, oh, that's why I don't deal with black women, y'all too aggressive, y'all too masculine, mm. like, yes, exactly, for example, um, I don't know what show this is, uh, Basketball Wives, but you have the, the girl OG, she's a dark-skinned Nigerian girl, and you have people calling her aggressive and the other women on the show saying that they don't want to film with her because they're afraid of her. Mm. Was a, yeah, call it like, but when you literally have um, Hispanic women like Evelyn Lozada hopping on tables, you know, fighting people, being super aggressive, masculine, patting her, you know, poom poom on national TV, right? And no one calls her masculine. No one calls her aggressive. But as soon as a, a, a black woman does it, but a dark skinned black woman, oh no, she's manly, masculine, aggressive. Uh-uh. So, yes, I agree. I agree. Mm, 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 mm. Now, listen, correct me if I'm wrong, mm -hmm. but didn't um, Evelyn say she Afro-Latino? Oh, my God, girl. <laughs> don't make me pass out. Girl. girl. <laughs> oh. Talk about it, girl. Talk about it. Afro-Latino when the backlash came in. This uh -huh. has never been Afro anything in her entire life, right? As soon as people started accusing her of being color, she she now want to take an Ancestry.com test, mm -hmm. right? And pull out that 8% African that she found in her DNA. Mm. No, girl, uh-uh, stay over there. You're a, a white Latina, a mixed Latina, be what you were before. Don't try to be an Afro-Latina now that the backlash kicks in. I hate that. Mm. And you know what the thing gets me? It's the B-word, right? You're so mm. quick to call these girls the B-word, especially that damn Lucy Boosie Boo. Anyway, he always want to call somebody the B word. But to me, I don't. The B word is an aggressive word. It's mm -hmm. nothing very soft and feminine about the B word. But yet, you guys always push the B word in your music. You manifest it, but you want something feminine. Mm. But you always deem it as masculine, calling it with the B word. Mm -hmm. What you think about? Do you think the B word is a very soft and feminine and sweet <laughs> name? No, I think that's uh, not feminine at all. Not very sweet. Um, I'm not gonna lie. I do freak with the B word. Um, <laughs> Ain't no wrong with it. And listen, I I I, I used to. <laughs> but I, I i cut back a lot a lot from the b word. i don't know why it bothered me sometimes but go ahead but yes no there is and it's actually it comes out of a, a place of misogyny so when the men are saying it it's extra bad but you know even females saying it to each other like we think it's all you know cool it's not that big of a deal but i just think just like the n-word wait hold on wait wait they say what it ain't that big of a deal like when, when women say it to one another wait hold up wait wait so i walk into the house and I see your mom. I said, "What's up, B?" Oh, <laughs> all right. So in circum like certain um circumstances. So if I'm just like with my girl, and I'm just like, "B, let me tell you what happened today." Like that. Uh, -uh you stop her. No, 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 no. <laughs> Correct me as a queen. Know your place. Yes, queen. <laughs> That's how you identify. But I don't identify that way. Okay. Exactly. Because I exactly think what we need to do. That's how to, it's. Uh, yeah. That's how it starts. It starts with you being okay with disrespect and normalizing disrespect. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. And the stuff keeps climbing and climbing and climbing. Well, you ain't had a problem when I was calling you a B. Exactly, right. Mm -mm. Like, I definitely agree with that. I think that's something we need to not normalize so much. We definitely need to, like, I don't know, take that word out of our vocabulary. Think of something more creative, something more uplifting to say to one another. So I agree with you on that. Mm. Would you want, is it okay if I call your daughter a B? Hey, little B. <laughs> oh, hell no. <laughs> Look at that little B over there. Hey, she gonna be something else. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's the blatant disrespect okay. and everything like that. So it's okay, I guess. For See, that, that's the thing. It It's okay for you to call your homegirl a B, but it's not okay for you to call her mama a B because it seemed disrespectful, but it's okay to disrespect Okay. <laughs> All right. Anyway, let's keep on moving on. All right. So she also says, she said this. Mm, 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 mm. Comment. Let us know what you guys think out there. Black men say black women are too masculine. Okay. Uh. And that's another thing, girl. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's the damn name shit, right? Now, okay, the B, and you know what else I stop? What? Okay, and I know it may be petty, but guess what? <laughs> I'm very sensitive. You know how somebody talk to you, right? And mm -hmm. they be like, hey, dog. First, I'm not your dog. <laughs> Don't call me a dog, okay? Or when people have a casual conversation, hey, mm -hmm. man. Oh, hell no. Nah. <laughs> nope, address me right. Don't do that shit over here. Where's your, uh-uh, uh-uh. You know? You know what? I don't Obviously. allow it. I don't allow it from, fin you call her the man, you call her the dog. But when you come around here, you know what's up. And they respect me as such, but you know what I notice? What? When they respect me on such a certain level, mm -hmm. and then they still refer to these other girls as bees in mm -hmm. front of me, the other girls get feel some type of way. Well, hold up. Uh, Why I, you won't I call her a B, but, but you call right. me a B, mm -hmm. and you were fine. You, you see, and, but you see what I just did there? You have to demand respect because if That's you don't, true. they won't respect you. I don't think any woman should be condoning a man calling them a B. Like, I've never, ever been okay with a guy calling me, you know, a B, or even if he's talking about me being his girlfriend, like, oh, that's my B. I don't like any of that. Don't call me no type of B word. The only time I've ever condoned it was like in the context of having conversations with my friends, because that's just like our vernacular and everything like that. Right. But even that, like, I get your point. There's definitely more uplifting and better ways that we could communicate with each other. That's cool. Definitely. If I'm hanging with you and your friends, if one of call me a B, it's on and popping. Hold <laughs> up, girl. What? It's on and popping. You talk to Chris. I ain't Crystal Logics, okay? <laughs> you gonna respect me all right uh -huh. i don't know what you got going on all right but yeah you know um so you know those are things to think about and you just hear the music all the time it's just so normalized and i was talking to one of my cousins about it you know and she yeah. said well you know that's just how he talk well he gonna have to change that damn tune around exactly. me Cause he's gonna change that tune when he's around them white executive people. Yeah, they know how to talk, right? And they ain't gonna they ain't gonna say to the white Caucasian lady, "Hey, B." And, exactly. and if he's addressing to corporate and the corporate man got his wife there, you think he's gonna say, "Yeah, yo, B is fired." No, mm -hmm. he's gonna show respect. They know how to put respect on and off, but you allow the bull crap, and that's why it keeps happening. Okay. Exactly. That's you why. Open your mouth to demand respect, you will be shocked at like the respect that you will actually get. You just have to start requiring it. Like people think that that's how just how that's just how people are, but no, people know how to code switch. People know how to act a certain way around people that they respect, and they know how to act a certain way around people they don't respect. So as soon as you say like, no, I'm not comfortable with that, the people who don't want to, you know, follow that, they could be gone. And the people who will, you know, abide by that, then those are the people you need to surround yourself with. You right, and you know what else I heard too? I was talking to another group of girls, right, and mm -hmm. they say, oh, you know what? The reason why we accept the B word, because that's what the men's be saying when they get mad at me. Or if I'm flip out the mouth, the first thing they're going to say, I'm a B. So guess what? 
They gonna call me a female aggressive dog, because that's what it is. Mm -hmm. I'm going to start acting like a female aggressive dog, and I'm going to start really doing some B stuff. Mm -hmm. So it's like, okay, well, I'm going to accept it, and I'm going to excuse, I'm going to be this aggressive, I'm going to be yelling, I'm going to be doing all this, because you put that out there, you manifest me as a beast, so I'm going to accept that B, and that's just what it is. Exactly. But that's just from one point of view, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I think it's almost like the N-word. How people have taken that in word and say, okay, we're going to start acting like some niggas. That's just not how niggas is. And they act a fool, girl. Yeah, that's my nigga over there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but what do you think? And I, some of y'all don't care what the Caucasian and other races think about you. But I'll be wondering, girl, if I was Caucasian and I'm looking at these people over here and they call themselves as a nigga. Yeah, I'm the baddest nigga. I'm like, damn. Yeah, I think about it too, but I don't know. Like, I feel like like I said, I do want to stop saying the N-word, but I feel like it's transcended so much from what it used to be. Uh, but it, I feel like it's done it to the detriment of the word because now it's like, it's so intertwined with our like music, our culture, like everywhere, N-word, N-word, N-word. But it also still has that like negative meaning, like a racist white person calling you an N-word. It still hits hard, but it's like, can we ever really get rid of the N-word now that we like, adopted it so much into our culture well i guess i feel i feel like hip-hop and that rap it really made it popular because you got caucasian saying in word and it just That's manifested true. itself into the whole world girl you That's got people in china okay russia what? People that never even heard the N-word before, they are saying the N-word because you glamorized it. You know what I'm when, saying? When you but, go to a college party, they play in the music, all the white people, N-word. And, like, it's it's like, wow, you would be shocked. Like, people really don't care. Like, other races of people, they really just... But why should they, they care? Y'all don't care. I mean, yeah. But I, I check them. I'm like, hey, that's it makes me uncomfortable. Please don't say it around me, you know? that's That's just my thing. You say it with your black friends that condone it, don't say it around me. Is they going to ever get rid of the N-word? Nope. Mm -hmm. If they ever going to get rid of the B-word? Nope. But guess what, girl? You out there as an individual mm -hmm. can set your boundaries. And yep. that's all I can tell you. They're going to mm -hmm. keep saying that B-word. They're going to keep saying that N-word. And for the future of it, since you can't know your history, and the schools, they taking away all black history away. So in the future, the N-word will be, um, it, everybody going to say it, and it's going to be acceptable. Oh my because God. the black people, y'all ain't going to know y'all history. They taking that out. Uh-huh. And they said that that Trump man, he's coming back. Okay. In 2024, they said the Republicans is taking the House seats in next year. And they changing all the stuff, man. Okay. So for the future, girl, bye. But um, anyway, I guess I keep on going. You know I'm long-winded. <laughs> Especially when I'm having a good time with Crystal Logics. Yes, All right. yes, we love it. All right, so I'm going to read the last part. It says, black men say black women are too masculine. Okay? Black women are raised to be independent because a lot of us come from broken homes. Providing is technically a masculine thing. If a woman is dating a man and still having masculine responsibilities, how can she focus on being feminine? Speak on it. Go ahead, Speak Logic. Go ahead, yes. boy. She, like, these men don't understand. Being feminine is a whole job. They're like, oh, you should be born feminine. No, I'm, I'm not born with my nails done. I'm not, I'm not born manicured. I'm not born with my hair done. I'm not born being pampered. All of that, it's, it's a job. That takes work. And if I'm constantly at work, right, working a nine to five, putting 50% on the table and you meeting me the other 50%, how are you expecting me to be so soft and feminine and submissive when I'm going to work just as hard as you? Are you soft, feminine, and submissive and all pretty and dolled up? You're not. You're looking a hot mess. 
but you expect me to do twice my job. Like, no, it's unreasonable. If you want a woman to be soft, feminine, all this other stuff, you have to provide her with the atmosphere. You have to be providing at least financially, right? So she can be feminine. So she can focus her time and attention on her femininity, on feminine, you know, hobbies. Because providing and bringing money to the table, putting, putting food on the table, that's a very masculine thing to do, like Tokyo said. All right, so this the thing, right? Mm -hmm. You know, when you have masculine and feminine energy, mm -hmm. you know, it can be a range of things. Are they talking about just the physical? Are they talking about the mental? Mm. Are they talking about the responsibilities? So, mm -hmm. it's, is it like, well, I want you, this is what I want you to do, Logic, okay? Mm -hmm. Get your ass up in the kitchen. Every morning, I want you to cook some breakfast. And I'm going to want you to get freaky, too, okay? Oh, my God. Iron my clothes. Uh-huh. And have me going to work. Take care of me. And if I'm late, it's your fault, okay? Take care of the kids. Mm -hmm. Then I want you to take your ass to work. Uh-huh. I need half the rent. <laughs> Nah, that, nah, nah, nah. Y'all want equality, right? Yeah. Oh. Y'all want equality, right? Yeah, y'all want equality. Take your butt to work, girl. Take your butt to work. And guess what? When you come home, give me that check. Because you need to stay in your feminine place. When you want something, you ask me, can I have those shoes? And I tell you, you know what? You getting out of You don't need that. <laughs> You need to stay your butt in the house, take care of these kids, and be a mother. That's your role. That's your job. It's to support the man, okay? Yeah. Yeah. And um, that, all that, all that back talk, that's masculine. Yeah. Don't, 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 mm -hmm. don't, don't do that. You questioning me? That's masculine. Yeah. Don't, 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 don't do that. You want to get education? That's mess. See, that you trying to compete so with me. You so manly. You trying to compete with me. You don't need to be all that educated. You know what I'm saying? You trying to get ambition? That's masculine. Watch my mom. You, 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 mom. you compete Watch with me in a job day. work. I can't she get the job. The she would still come home. She would cook. She would clean. Help with the homework. Like, everything. And, like... My mom got so burnt out doing that. You can't maintain that. It's not. It's not realistic. It's like these men expect us to be to be superwoman with a, with a smile on our face twenty four seven. It doesn't work like that. If they knew half of what went into really being a woman, they wouldn't. They would never be acting like this. But uh, comment. Let us know what do you guys think about this. This our guest coming on, Crystal Logics. And do you guys <laughs> yes, want me to do? More guest appearance on this show, on this YouTube channel. My bad. All right. So make sure you guys like, share, and follow. Where can they follow you, Crystal? Um, guys, you can follow me on YouTube at Chris Logic. It's C R Y S L O G I C. Guys, go follow me. Check out my content and definitely subscribe to the channel. Show your girl some love, okay? All right, all Thank right. Thank you so much, Gigi, for having me on. I really Anytime. It. I had a Anytime. great time. Awesome. All right. <laughs>